Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Worthington from Frosno. Uh, in this very short video, I wanted to share some thoughts on the customer journey in digital. Um, if you've ever been to a department store such as IKEA, you'll notice that they do essentially force you to follow their path through the store to expose you to every possible product. And in brick and mortar stores, you can get away with this, even if sometimes it feels a little painful, or at least it does for me anyway. Um, this does ultimately have a massive effect on how many products end up in your basket. In digital stores, the journey can be very different. And uh, I've got an example here using one of my customer journeys looking for biking products for my brother last Christmas. So I started with some search and that took me to this particular website's product page. I did some further research on other categories before bouncing because I wasn't quite ready to buy yet. In my second session a few days later, I came in via the homepage because I recognised the brand, but I had to try and re-find my steps in order to get through to the products I was looking for, comparing some before ultimately adding something to the basket, but again actually bouncing because I wasn't quite ready to purchase. On the third and final session, I came in with clear intent to buy through the front page, through to cart, adding some additional items before ultimately transacting. So this highlights two major things. Firstly, the non-linear and variable journeys on digital real estate. And two, the clear difference that intent has on a customer's journey through your website, the di different desired outcomes that they have, and the need for e-commerce brands to recognize this and react accordingly. Have you mapped out your customer journeys? And do different customers in different stages of the buying journey get treated differently according to their needs? Get in touch and let me know what you think.